This is DEF CON 101. We've been doing this for quite a few years now. Uh, Highways started this a few years back. I've been uh, assigned to carry it on. And basically what it is, is we're going to give you a little bit of information about DEF CON. We're going to tell you about, you know, the things that are going on. And then the panel, our lovely panel, is going to talk a little bit about their involvement with DEF CON, how they got involved initially, and then, you know, things that you can do to get yourself involved. Our panel just got prettier. <laughs> yes, and smarter. Much. So, just in case you weren't aware, everybody was a noob once. Uh, I was just talking to a guy named Ben back when Ryan asked us all to introduce ourselves. Ben's a noob. Ben's not afraid to say he's a noob. He's here because he wants to learn stuff. Everybody is still a noob. So this is something that you guys, nobody should ever feel like they're superior because they know some more. Because you don't know everything. Somebody knows more than you about something. That was it. That was just a little preachy. <laughs> Welcome to Las Vegas. Pace yourselves, please. You are here for four days. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, especially if you're Ryan. Because it's, this is one of those things where you know, I've been here, a lot, and I've seen a lot of people passed out. Apparently, uh, Shaggy saw somebody passed out in front of his door last night. Um, you know, if you don't pace yourselves, you're going to do uh, lots of really bad things. Hey there, priest. How are you doing? Good. You have a minute? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Everybody remember me? Yeah. So you all haven't seen a lot of me over the last couple of years because for the most part, you've all been very well behaved. <laughs> for those of you who are new to DEF CON, I'm Priest. And I'm the guy you're going to see right before you see Hotel Security of the FBI. <laughs> and I will be hopefully the guy keeping you out of jail. Or I'll be the guy helping you solve a problem. Which is not why I'm here right now. There are some rumors floating around that someone has hacked the PBX here at Caesars, or here at uh, Bally's. First of all, they're false. Second of all, whoever's floating those rumors has really managed to piss off Caesars Entertainment. How many people here remember the Alexis Park? How many people here would like to go back to the Alexis Park? Okay. I remember one time in the Alexis Park, we had this huge tent that had air conditioning in it. And two bright sparks decided to hack the air conditioning system in the tent. We're self congratulating each other while saying, God, it's hot in here. <laughs> the point being, if you want to have nice things, pardon my language, don't fuck it up. Don't mess with Caesars. Because Caesars will mess with us back and we will go back to the Alexis Park or the Howard Johnson's by the airport. <laughs> so, yeah. And how many people here stayed at a Holiday Inn Express last night? Anybody? Okay, so nobody here is a lawyer. <laughs> or for that matter, can play one on TV. The point being is, if any of you have the bright idea to key up with some cellular eavesdropping equipment, or any other equipment, you are in violation of the United States Patriot Act. And when I said you will be seeing me before you see the FBI, you will be seeing me before you see the FBI. You don't want to see him. Because they will take you out. It's a very good choice, sir. Because they will take you out of here in handcuffs. Somebody did key up, somebody is going out in handcuffs. So be smart about it. Um, my kid now is 10 years old. And we just had a conversation. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, he is actually starting to do on his own, without knowing what they are, buffer overflows and SQL injection attacks on some video games he likes to play where he's getting free services. We just had the daddy-son discussion about how hacking good, theft of services bad. Theft of service is felony, hacking, ser hacking and turning it in for the bug bounty, good. And basically the same thing, not that you guys are 10 years old, but the same thing applies here. Please do not do something stupid. The last person who did something stupid threatened the life of the vice president and actually spent quite a bit of time in jail for it. And the FBI this year very much is looking for people to key up on the cell networks, on the wireless networks, and everything else. And... Uh, don't want to meet this guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, putting, I'm putting the message out. This is the last of the message. They're rushing me off the stage. 
Point is, I was asked to warn you about that. Please don't mess it up. We like it here. We want to be at Caesar's Palace next year. We want to be back here the year after that. So please don't mess it up. Okay, thanks guys. We're going to cover don't be a, an asshat or a fucktard later on in this talk. <laughs> For right now, fun fact. <laughs> Among other things, uh, prostitution is not uh, legal. Here in Las Vegas, you've got to go someplace else. You see those people flipping their cards, trying to get you to meet an escort that doesn't look anything like the, uh, the card? How do you know? Trust me. Right. He said, trust me. I've seen this. <laughs> I've seen this. All right. Stay hydrated. You are in the desert. Drink a lot of water. Try something with electrolytes. If you can find some Brondo, drink that. What's that? It is what? Yes. <laughs> you can also try to keep, strike a good balance of other things. It's fine if you want to go ahead and drink beer. That can't be the only thing you're drinking. Because remember, as much as you're putting in, you're putting out. Another fun fact. You can drink too much water. <laughs> Hyponatremia. And it is uh, water intoxication. So, again, strike a good balance. We have simple rules here for having a good time at DEF CON. Um, you need to get at least three hours of sleep a night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I, I have Practice my own, what you preach. I have my own laugh track. Yes, exactly. Practice with... So yeah. Ryan told you all about the badges uh, if you were here for the last talk. That's for the um, whole week, right? Yeah, yeah. no, three, three <gasps> hours a night. We were here, uh, we were up r very late last night um, doing the badges. Some of the guys here were up much later than I was. So... Three, yes, some guys are still up. You? Yeah. Yeah. Two. Means eat at least two meals a day. The f hotel actually has pretty good food uh, down in the food court. It's relatively cheap. It's relatively good. DEF CON offers some different cafes, and they have improved the food significantly over the past few years, and they have also reduced the price. So um, there are lots of opportunities for you to eat. Please make sure that you do it. Bathe at least once <laughs> per day. Honestly, guys and girls, deodorant is your friend. I know that everybody's here that is uh, hanging out and you, know, you want to just spend time having a good time. I want you to know, fun fact number three now, mosquitoes are attracted to body odor. So, you know, I don't, I've seen some of the mosquitoes. There are mosquitoes here. They're big. They don't have West Nile. They don't have... Uh, Zika? Yeah. Here? In Nevada. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> so, every single one of you better wash yourselves good. And I, yes, with soap, please. And apply deodorant. Do not apply cologne like it's armor. <laughs> uh, and, you, know, you know, just a word about your shirts. Uh, this goes for the guys. Underbelly, not sexy. Abs are, though. <laughs> yes, abs are sexy. Especially for you. Um. <laughs> I'm the choking gay on the panel. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. This is a diverse panel. We have our token. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, the, every year, I hear all kinds of people talking about they leave and they get the DEF CON crud. They spend a week sick as dogs. You don't get to go to work, doing whatever. Fist your friends. Seriously. Fist them often. When you go to the bathroom. Not hard. No, no, no. Do not fist hard. If Be anyone needs any help, I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> Wash your hands. Please, please, please. After the fisting. And <laughs> after peeing and after so many other things. Because another fun fact, here's actually a pretty cool study. 2014, study revealed that fist bumps actually uh, convey fewer germs, like 90% fewer germs. So, just saying, think about fisting. Think about 
This is Dick. Notice, Dick is a hacker. You can tell he's a hacker because he has his middle finger extended and he has on a ski mask. We're gonna go over ways that you cannot be a dick. We got some of the basics. Please hold doors for people. Don't even think that you're the only person that's walking through that door. Please check and keep your head up. I had to tell a couple of people on my way over here, please lift your head out of your phone because you're not paying attention to where you're going. And it was actually kind of funny the other day, we were laughing, somebody was saying how, how many they had moves and it would have been awesome because they turned around and there was somebody right there and they almost uh, crashed. So please make sure that you uh, pay attention. And if you're gonna, you know, this is DEF CON, a lot of us only see each other once a year. If you're gonna have that meeting, step to the side of the hallway. Please do not hold your family reunion in the middle of the hall. Our halls are, are narrow enough. Another fun fact. Who has downloaded the Hacker Tracker app? <laughs> the Hacker Tracker app was created by an awesome chick, uh, Whitney, and she works with us. And she has all the information in an app. You know, this, it makes it so much easier than carrying around your uh, program. Um, so I would strongly su have suggested that you would have downloaded it before coming to the DEF CON network. <laughs> all right, remember Priest Talk? Please do not be an asshat. Um, don't ruin everybody's time. There are a lot of people here that are, are here to really have a good time, and there is a lot of fun stuff. DEF CON offers a lot of fun stuff. There are parties. There are lots of different opportunities. As a matter of fact, please stick around. There's a party after this. Um, hosted by DEF CON and Duo Security. Um, but if you're going to be an asshat, if you're going to do the stuff... Oh yeah, free beer. I've, right, yeah. <laughs> please stick yeah. around. There's going to be free beer. I probably should have led with that. <laughs> but like Priest was saying, you know, don't do stupid stuff. Don't throw things in the air, sir. <laughs> um, you know, you don't want to... You can put an eye out. We don't want to, we don't want to have, uh, nobody else, <laughs> really? You could put an eye out? Nobody, nobody. <laughs> uh, you can heckle here. This is fine. But please don't heckle the other uh, speakers. Everybody that's done this has done a lot of work. Some of the people up on, on the panel were actually CFP, um, review board members. Uh, I hope that I'm not exposing anybody. But, um, you know, one of the things that we wanted to do is make sure that we're getting quality talks. People put a lot of effort into their talks. Just because you don't agree with something or you know, might know something, wait until uh, they're done and talk to them afterwards, please. Here's something. Yes, you're seeing people for the first time. <laughs> and it's awkward hug time. I, I would re strongly suggest that you're going to um, ask. Ask before you just simply walk up and hug somebody. Otherwise, you get that church hug where you're like this, or one hand, or you know, got your arms in between, or somebody's squeezing you, and you got a Tyrannosaurus Rex thing going on. So try and uh, uh, make sure that that's appropriate. Mike, I do have a question. Do you prefer the fisting or the free hugs, or the free hugs and fisting? Uh, fist me first, then hug me. All right, a word about phones and wireless. Again, you should have downloaded Hacker Tracker before coming here. <laughs> and you heard, there are people apparently willing to screw around with the wireless and the phones. And this is something that you really don't want to mess with. So my suggestion is make sure that you've got your wireless turned off. Just do the, the simple OPSEC things that you would uh, normally do if you were actually thinking about this and not trying to figure out how much beer you can get into your body by the end of the day. Um, and it is a hacker convention. So expect to be in some sort of pictures. Somebody's going to take a picture because everybody's got a phone in their pocket. Everybody's phone has a camera. Everybody's taking pictures. Please don't be upset. If you see that somebody has taken your picture and you don't approve, just ask. Chances are they'll delete the picture for you. If they don't, you're welcome to uh, talk to one of our uh, sock goons. Um, but most likely they're going to remind you that you're in a public place and it's, anybody can take pictures. In fact, you're getting your picture taken 
pretty much every time you walk around in, in the casino. Not everything here is free. Some people, you know, they're walking around and they see stuff laying out. It's not free. It doesn't mean it's free just because it's laying out. Now, we will give you stuff. There will be stuff. There's going to be giveaways here. We've got special lanyards and we've got special noob coins. A select few of you will get things. You'll get lots. Um, so please ask before you assume that it's uh, free. One of the things you want to make sure you're going to do when you're here, have a plan. Because a lot of these talks are going to fill up fast. And it's going to be really difficult, especially when we're spread out as we are, where some talks are here in 101 and other talks are um, over in Paris. So please make sure that you take a, take a minute, read your program, see what the structure is, and go ahead and uh, he asked for that hug. Go ahead and make sure that. Um, Did you fist him? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's going on, so that you know how much time you have and where you need to go. And we do have the uh, source of knowledge. Where are they located this year? Source of knowledge. Yeah, where where can we sign up? Oh, I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> So, so the source of knowledge is around somewhere. They'll have a big sign. <laughs> yeah. Oh, contests and events. Thank you very much, Shaggy. Uh, source of knowledge is in co contests and events. You can sign up. It's pretty cheap, and you can get all of the videos. So in case you miss one, you can go back and you can watch it later. <coughs> there are lots and lots of talks. We've already gone over the fact that we put a lot of effort into making sure that there are good talks for you. and. Also, the people that are speaking took the time to uh, go through and make sure that they've got good quality uh, stuff for you to check out and listen to and hopefully learn things. Hopefully you'll learn things uh, in more time where you can absorb them rather than the 10 minutes that uh, Loss took to explain his processor, which was actually pretty interesting. Remember the look at part. Incredible. Also, how many of you know that we have what are called villages at DEF CON? Not very many of you. So villages are actually places where you, where you can go and you can get hands-on experience. Uh, this is a list of the villages, biohacking village, car hacking village, crypto and privacy village, Internet of Things village, uh, lockpick village, hack and ha uh, hacking village. There are sky talks up on uh, the top of Indigo, correct? Uh, Tamper Evident village and wireless village. These are places where if you're interested and you want to learn a little bit more about, say, lock picking, or you want to learn how can I get that piece of tape off the back of my computer without somebody noticing that I've taken it off, uh, that you go to Tamper Evident, and they'll teach you how to do these things. They're going to teach you how to, how to hack, how to lock, uh, pick locks, how to do all of that stuff. So this is something that you, you will need to put yourself out there in order to get a better experience at DEF CON. Um, we also, contests and events, we heard, um, talked about it, they're here at Bally's, they're back in the convention center, uh, and there are 65 contests and events, way too many to list here, but I want to go ahead and list a few that are highlights. Lost Challenge. Yes, his many challenges, apparently he had a challenge last night getting the badges together and... <laughs> <laughs> Capture the flag is also a challenge. Now this is going to be a challenge for you because the first time I came to DEF CON, the first two years, that's how I got to DEF CON. I was, uh, my company paid for me to attend and uh, be part of the capture the flag. Um, choose your battles wisely. I spent uh, 36 hours straight the first capture the flag. The second capture the flag was three days straight. So this is one of those things where um, it takes a long time. It's a lot of fun. You'll get a lot of uh, experience. Um, you put together a team. It's awesome, but it also is going to take a lot of your time. Uh, this year back is the EFF Badge Hack pa pageant. If you don't know what that is, it is friggin' hysterical, and they have special sashes this year for the winners. Um, but you can check it out on uh, facebook.com slash EFF. And this is one of the areas where you can hack the contest. That's the, the, the whole point is to win a contest. So, but, you know, and there are rules, but all you have to do is stay within the rules, 
they don't, you don't have to follow them explicitly, they just have to be you know, followed and you can hack, and if you can hack the contest, you can win. Some of these contests actually lead you to what's called a black badge. A black badge is a badge that can get you into DEF CON for bless free, you, bless, bless you, you, for life. Kind of a cool thing. You register, it's got a special badge uh, designed by Lost, who's our celebrity, so I'll keep pointing at him. You want to hear something about it? Yeah, yeah. please. So other, other than the folks that were at my talk earlier, I'll give you guys a little, a little tidbit about the Uber badge this year. So I worked with the gentleman who uh, is a professional special effects guy in Hollywood. And the badge this year <laughs> has a, a telescoping full articulated appendage. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aw awkward. Anyway, I, you know, there are different contests that, that are black badge contests every year, so it pays to participate in as many as you can. If you win, awesome. There's a good possibility that you could get a black badge. Anybody know about demo labs or workshops? A few of you do. This is something that <laughs> Seth knows. He was on the board. Workshops are awesome because this is an opportunity to actually get training. DEF CON offers you free or near free uh, uh, training opportunities. They're about four hours each, and the, the instructor provides whatever they need to provide, and you either just pay for the parts or, or things like that. This isn't like Black Hat where it's $5,000. It's not like SANS where it's $5,000. This is DEF CON. You're going to get something. The community is going to provide you something, and they're going to provide it to you for, for as little a cost as possible. Demo labs also are an area where people can talk about whether it's tools that they've developed or new techniques that they've used or whether it's a GUI front end for some command line tool. Whatever it is, demo labs are, offer you an opportunity to actually see some things in action. Um, and they're relatively quick, 20 minute talks. One of the other areas we have, two areas actually, we have uh, swag, which is the official DEF CON gear. Um, I highly recommend if you have not been to Swag yet, get in Swag. It sells out fast. Um, all of the official DEF CON stuff, that's where you can find it. Now the vendor hall is actual vendors. One of the things that we try to do with vendors is we make sure that they have some sort of community support. They're not just a t-shirt provider or something like that. Uh, if you go to Hacker Stickers as an example, you're going to be able to find something, you know, they're going to help you. Like if you want to buy a lockpick set from uh, Hacker Stickers, they're going to teach you how to use that lockpick set. Uh, same thing with SiriPick, which is another tool uh, lockpick provider. Now, one um, that is actually pretty cool, I'm wearing them right now, Gunners. They uh, provide eyewear that if you work in front of a computer or if you play a lot of video games, the eyewear is awesome. It will help you with eye strain and your eyes will not get as tired quickly. So check out the different vendors. We've got a whole bunch you of different cool ones. Too. I do, I look at smashing in these. So, <laughs> Powerade is not a part of this. Brought to you by Carl's Jr. There you go. Why are you down there? Wouldn't that be All right, this is awesome. Guys, this is Romer. Romer was the uh, vendor, head vendor goon for more years, yeah, pretty much since the creation of time. Last time I spoke was at 101. Yeah. Yeah, got kicked off. <laughs> <laughs> so one of, one of the things that Lost really wanted to say, <laughs> you just skip right over that part, <laughs> that Lost tried to say uh, during his talk, and I'm trying to say here, is you need to reach out. Now I'm going to go ahead and borrow from Lost. I'm going to take about 30 seconds. I would like you to turn to your neighbor and introduce yourself. Seriously.
All right, that's a little more than 30 seconds, but I'm pretty happy that this started that much conversation. Guys. Guys. Please. Now that you've made new friends, you guys can hang out later. It's... Remember, now that you have new friends, you can now drink free beer with them when this is all over. How many have you fisted? Stop. Stop. Oh, this is going to be on YouTube. All right. One of the things I want you to do also, after this and outside of this, you know, make sure that you put yourself out there. Make sure that you put yourself in a position where you can find uh, things that other people are interested in that you might share in common. As an example, tomorrow uh, during the day in the, uh, one of the penthouse suites in the Indigo Tower, there's a travel con where it's an international meetup. Um, any of you that are coming from a foreign country and you're concerned, hey, I'm not sure if I'm going to find somebody that speaks the same language or... Um, you know, has, has cultural things in common. That's a place to go and meet people. Um, also, after this, the, the new party. This is a great place, an opportunity to, to mingle and actually meet people. Because you're under no obligation. You're here once. You know, you can find somebody and you can make a friend. And you can make that friend turn into some sort of opportunity, whether it's to learn more, get another job. You know, there's lots of things that you can find if you, if you just simply reach out and find a friend. I will tell you, it is very difficult for me because I do have social anxiety. I am very awkward. <laughs> when oh, I, <laughs> you get to hear it a little bit here. It's easier because I'm talking to you and I don't actually have to interact with you. I can talk at you. <laughs> if you wanted to start a conversation with me later, then you know, pick a topic that I know something about, please. <laughs> but. But the, the, the important thing is skipping over the people who just won't let that joke die. Um, the important thing is truly that if you find somebody who can, can in, in, connect with, it's going to make a great deal of difference because DEF CON gives you what you put into it. If all you do is go and, and attend a talk or all you do is go and you sit down and you do CTF with your head buried in your laptop, unfortunately that's, that's what you're going to get out of it. It's, there's nothing. Um, so, I want to make sure that everybody truly understands. This is the triple dog dare. You cannot turn this one down. That's the way that it works. Yeah, I threw it out. Triple dog dare. That just happened. Boom. No, I double dog dare. The last one was double dog. Here, just in case you missed it. Triple dog dare. Yeah, well, you know, this is one. It's, do something you've never done before. You know, if you're here and you're a sysadmin and, and that's what you do, find something else. Get into Internet of Things or go in and, you know, check out one of the other contests. Hack your car. It's actually pretty cool, the stuff that those guys are doing. Uh, biohacking. You know, this is something that's actually also kind of, kind of fun, too. So just try the villages. Go to a party. I'm giving you the first opportunity to go to the party after this. Again, free beer, just in case you missed it. <laughs> so now, I'm going to take a little bit and ask the people that are on the panel. Uh, basically, what I want them to do is introduce themselves and kind of give you an understanding of what they did to get into DEF CON and what they got out of DEF CON and they offer you any kind of advice. And I think if we start with Romer... <laughs> we go downhill from there. No. Honestly... Romer is the person who got me into uh, DEF CON. You know, like I said, I came here, I did two CTFs, but I met uh, Romer, and after that, you know, he actually came and worked with me. We hung out, we were friends. He was best man at my wedding. So this is one of the things that you get when you meet somebody cool at DEF CON. It's gonna make me cry and shit. All right, first off, um, I will do all the shit you wanted me to do, but I love these things, and I just have to say fuck a few times, because it really, I'm basically 12 years old, and I like saying fuck, 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 written across the screen. 
fucking fucked motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Um, all right, so I got into DEF CON. <laughs> Seriously, I'm fucking 12. Um, so I think the first DEF CON I came to was DEF CON 7 or 8, and uh, Russ, who's now like, I don't know what's his title? CEO. Grand Poobah or something. Um, at the time, he just, like, I, w I came here as an attendee, and he was a goon, and he's like, hey, man, can you help me out? Uh, this was back in the Alexis Park days, which I actually do want to go back to, whether Priest does or not. Um, and so I didn't realize that that meant that for the next 16 years I was basically be spending three to 500 hours a week, or not a week, but a year. <laughs> Honestly, I'm pretty fucking awesome. I can do that shit. Um, I didn't realize I was going to be spending three to 500 hours a year preparing for DEF CON uh, for the next 16 years. And then now I just sit around and drink, which is awesome. I love being retired. It's the best. I cannot recommend it enough. Oh, it's glorious. All my friends were like dealing with badges last night. I'm like, sucks to be. <laughs> so, um, I, I mean, one of the coolest things about how, what DEF CON was back then, though, was like, it was. What? <laughs> um, it was really easy to go and just walk up to somebody and start a conversation. I mean, Mike talked about it a little bit already. You could, like, the pools at the Alexis Park were glorious. You could just walk up, you hear people talking about something that you're interested in. You offer them a beer and you join in the conversation. And that's basically, I knew one person when I came to my first DEF CON. Now I feel like I probably know about 15,000, which is pretty cool. Um, and Russ was a loser too, man. He fucking, like, would go to bed at, like, 9 p.m. You're like, dude, everybody else is still awake because they're not, like, grandparents. Um... So, but, you know, from there, we, I kind of, like, wanted to get more involved because I thought this was really neat. I'm like, I found people that dig the same shit that I dig. They want to do the same stuff that I want to do. They want to cause a, a lot of the same kind of trouble that I wanted to cause. Um, so, like, one of the things that's kind of cool this year, uh, Mike mentioned the villages. And, seriously, it was like the Bubba Gump of villages. It's Shrimp Scampi Village. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the IOT Village. Um, but one of the things the Wireless Village is doing this year was something that I started uh, at DEF CON 10, I think, which was the first time we war drove Vegas, and we did a war driving contest. They're actually doing an old school war driving contest this year, um, which I think is kind of neat, and it'd be interesting to see what the, the wireless map actually looks like here now. But um, you know, one of the things that was really neat about the way things were, and, and Mike mentioned it with the contest, when I ran that contest, I actually had only a couple of rules. Um, and the, the last rule was, if it's not uh, explicitly disallowed, then it's allowed. And so, like, the first year that we did that, which I, like I said, I think I was DEF CON 10, um, the Schmoo group read through the rules, and they realized that nothing actually said they had to drive. So they contacted one of the uh, local news stations and said, hey, will you fly us around in your helicopter? Um, we'll, we'll give you a story. They, they won the contest. Um, uh, then the next year, like, uh, I think it was the Wiggle Group, they, said, they, they looked at the rules and they didn't realize nothing said that it had to be Vegas. And you got, uh, well, yeah, you got uh, extra points for unique access points, ones that only your team found. So they drove to L.A. and, and <laughs> they won too. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, I mean, Hack the Contest is, like, the, the most fun. Like, as the organizer, that was the shit that I wanted to see. What were you guys going to come up with that was going to make me say, holy crap, I wish I had thought of that. That's awesome. Next year, I'm totally going to not let that happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but, yeah, I mean, try to get involved. Try to, like, I mean, like, go up to people at the bar and buy them a drink or ask them to buy you one. That's a bold choice, but it might work. <laughs> uh, yeah. We, we had kids coming up last night, like, it was weird, some dude came up to me today, and he's like, hey, aren't you one of the organizers? I'm like, yeah. He said, I recognize your voice from the documentary, and that really pissed me off, because I didn't think I, I don't think I sound anything like that. And I'm like, shit, my voice really does sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> it really sucks, I've got this weird lisp I didn't even know I had. <laughs> I'm watching it, I'm like, I don't sound like that. So, 
But yeah, I mean, listen to the goons. They're here to help you have a good time. They're also a lot of really smart people, and they're probably some of the best friends I've ever had or you guys ever will make. So thank you. Woo! Hi there. Uh, my name is Ivan Lofo, and I run the scavenger hunt. Um, instead of going to any talks, do not go to talks. Unless they are relevant to your employment, you are paid to be here to go to that talk, do not go to talks. What? Three months from now, they will be posted on the internet. What? Instead, you should go and enjoy DEF CON. So right Just now. don't do the scavenger hunt. <laughs> I don't care if you do the scavenger hunt, just don't go to talks. So go to a other. So leave right now is what he's saying. No, no, no. no. Follow the directions. Talk. Follow the directions. Okay. Go, go. All right. Play the scavenger hunt. We're fun. Seriously. We're, we're what keeps the DEF CON fun. STFU, dude. No. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> All right. I actually. Absolutely love the randomness of this. So next I'd like to invite Highwiz up. Highwiz actually, like I said, he started DEF CON 101. This was something that it was, uh, you know, kind of a, a fun thing. It was the rules, the frequently asked questions, which turned into a, a talk. And now it's turned into this. Thanks for making me go next, asshole. Um, uh, I'm not going to say much, just... Right. I'm, I'm not going to say much, just n that number one, a lot of the people up here didn't want a, a 101 at all, Romer, and lost. The first year did not want 101. Why do we need a 101? Why do we need to help out the noobs? And if somebody has to teach you how to hack, you're not going to succeed. Exactly, that was it. And now, how many, how many new people here? And put your hands way up, all right? Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Raise your hands. Because as everyone here has said and reiterated, you're going to get out of DEF CON what you put into it. You have to be an active participant. You have, you know, 361 days a year where you can sit on IRC. So log off, <laughs> all right? Log off and go talk to people. Don't sit in the hallways. Don't do badge contests. Don't sit in the hallways, <laughs> you know. Don't play on your computer. Go talk to people. Um, I did. Yes, like, like many of these people did, and that's how they got involved. Uh, and if you come up to some of us later, we'll give you um, challenge coins, really cool challenge coins that uh, Mike made. And um, uh, I'll have an interesting question later on for when we play a game, and uh, the winners will get a pair of gunner glasses. What? Yes. Nice. So uh, that's it for me. Um, Mike, you're up. Back up. Back up. All right. Oh, and, and no, no, one other thing. Um, any cute guys out there, you know, if you want to hang out later? Just putting that out there. <laughs> Next, I'd like you to hear from Nikita. Nikita is one of the organizers of DEF CON and is super awesome. Just in case you weren't aware, she is awesome. She's so awesome, I tweeted it. <laughs> we love you, Nikita. Watch your nipples. Because <laughs> he is. <laughs> oh. Okay, so this is really uncomfortable creeper. for me. I have incredibly bad social anxiety. So you will very rarely see me talk to this many people. I get a little bit shaky, so give me a break there, okay? <laughs> Um, I work for DEF CON all year round. I help organize the conference. Um, I am the, <laughs> thank you. I'm the director of. <laughs> thank you. Um, I'm the director of the CFP board as well. So a lot of the um, gentlemen on the CFP board and ladies as well, we have quite a few. Um, <clears throat> I help coordinate uh, getting all these talks that you don't want to go to while you're here. <laughs> and then afterwards, I have the pleasure of coordinating, getting them put up online so that you can enjoy them there. And so I do that, and I kind of just, you know, bits and pieces here and there, a little bit of everything. Nikita makes DEF CON. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> thank you. I'm, 
together. Let me just say, it's uh, Nikita and Ryan together with his badges and all the hard work Nikita does. I mean, everyone else does a lot of hard work, but between the two of them, it is DEFCON. They are the pure epitome of DEFCON. Well, thank you. That's, that's, a lovely, that's a lovely compliment, but I would be remiss if I didn't speak up for, for all of the other goons that, that we have and volunteers on staff as well. And, and you know, we do have quite a matriarchy within DEFCON, most of the, the organization. Um, for some of the, the top level stuff is, is all female, surprisingly. Uh, hotel, uh, women, um, uh, administration, women. Uh, we've got, awesome. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Workshops, women. Um, uh, yeah, so just, we, we are here. You were just really busy. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what else it, they, it. they asked. That's it? That's all yep. I got? All right. Yeah. Thank you. I, I really want to encourage everybody to just have a good time. And come party. And come par stay, party, have some drinks. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Do you want to talk about these? I don't know anything about them. Yes. <laughs> Put it around your neck. I have one around my neck. These are special lanyards. These are part of the, the stuff that we're going to hand out to people. Um, if you are doing Lost Challenge, you do need this. You need to either see it, take a picture of it, get one. So whatever you're going to do, if you're going to do Lost Challenge and try and figure it out, you need to get one of these. And with that, actually, I would like for Lost to come up and speak. <laughs> I don't want to talk very long because you all heard me talking just before this, so uh, <laughs> I've got 10 minutes. Let's redo the processor backwards. We're going to start with the PlayStation and end up with a rock. So, uh, when I came to my first DEF CON, I didn't know anybody, anybody, and I decided that I had to prove to everybody that I was worthy of being there, so I competed in a contest by a guy who uh, goes by the name of Neural, who's kind of disappeared from the scene now. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I actually won that competition, and um, from then it was, it's just been downhill ever since for me. <laughs> in, in the fact that uh, uh, Romer was talking about how much time you spend during the year getting ready for DEF CON, so everyone always asks me when I start prep for the stuff that I do, and it usually starts midway through this DEF CON, I'll be already working on stuff for next year. That's the only way I, I, I can get it all done. And I would like to disagree with, with Highways. I don't think it's Nikita and I that's DEF CON. It's all of you guys that make Aww. DEF CON. Because, Aww. seriously. Because uh, when I do the challenges and stuff like that, that's just me like expressing all of my crazy weird interests in puzzle form, but watching people go through it and uh, seeing people come up with clever and interesting ways of solving the stuff that, in ways that I didn't even think of, uh, that's exactly what the spirit and epitome of a hacker con is. And so I feel very relaxed when I'm at DEF CON when I'm not rushing around trying to fix problems because I don't feel like I have to explain my motivations behind a lot of stuff because I'm with, uh, you know, like-minded individuals. Um, I, I like coming to a place where I don't generally have to explain my t-shirts to people. Because, <laughs> I mean, all of us, at least I assume a lot of you out here, have worn a t-shirt or two that when you go to the grocery store and the clerk looks at your shirt and doesn't know what the hell they're looking at, that's pretty common fare. But you come to DEF CON and everyone's like, you'll find somebody who understands your shirt, no matter how crazy, off the wall, or complex it is. So, um, I, uh, since we're introducing what, what we've done, so I, uh, Many years ago at DEF CON, I had gotten a robotics company, Parallax, to donate a bunch of robotics kits. And I started at one end of the conference, and I walked through the conference saying, who wants to learn how to build a robot? And that's all I said, and I walked from one end to the other, and by the time I got to the other end of the conference, it was like the Pied Piper. I had a trail of about 45 people behind me. We didn't have a room, we didn't have a place to do it, it wasn't a village, and we sat down on the floor, of the contest area in the Alexis Park, and I taught a robotics class on the spot. 
And from that, the Hardware Hacking Village was born. That's how the Hardware Hacking Village came to be. And that's the kind of stuff that we want to encourage to happen and we encourage you guys to do. Several of the contests that are out there now are people that used to compete in my mystery box challenge, not, not the badge challenge, but I used to do a, a much more difficult contest called the mystery challenge. And now they're doing things like the Darknet project. Those guys are awesome. If you haven't taken a look or you haven't heard of it, go see the Darknet stuff. Those guys do an amazing job. They have a really cool badge and they only make like 200 of them. So they're very, uh, if you want to see one, go find those guys and take a look at them because it's, it's worth the time investment to seek out these little niche things. And there's all these little pockets of community that kind of do their own thing. There's other parties that have like puzzles that you have to solve to get into the party. There's uh, different meetup groups and things like that. So I would encourage you to, to get involved and, and have fun. I know everyone keeps saying we keep belligerent. Like, yeah, interrupt me. Um, one thing that he didn't really kind of glossed over on uh, the robotics class that he did, that's the DEF CONest thing I've ever seen anybody oh, yeah. do. Ryan wasn't a staff member. He wasn't running anything. He was a dude that said, I want to teach people shit. Mm -hmm. It was the most amazing thing I had ever seen. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? I've got to meet him. I thought it was incredible. Mm -hmm. And that's what DEF CON really is all about. It's always Thank you. Yeah, because people always ask, how do I get involved? Do you make yourself get involved? You're, you're a hacker. Be active about these things. Don't sit on your ass and wait for people to do it. And in response to, uh, to the thing about the lanyards, people, apparently there's already a Reddit uh, up where people are trying to collect all the information and the pieces because people remote solve the contest every year as well. We have people in Germany. Uh, I know we have a guy in Japan. And we have, we have people all over the country that have people on the ground in the conference who are remoting people in to work uh, on the conference. Yeah, but you married the smartest one. And, and I was getting to that. And <laughs> I actually met my wife that way. Um, one, one year, I realized there was this, this young lady who was being Skyped in to team meeting, because I love walking around to see the different teams working on my contests. Um, that's the joy for me of all the work that I do. And I saw that they, they, they had a laptop out, and it was a Skype session. I was like, what are you doing? And they're like, oh, we're Skyping in this, this, this girl who solves your crypto really, really fast. And we don't understand how she's doing it, but she's great. And then I went and saw another team. I was like, wait, that's the same person. This is a different team, and it's like fierce competition. <laughs> and I said, wait, what's going on? And she was social engineering the teams from home, wasn't even at DEF CON, and had interjected and was actually part of multiple teams. And so, and eventually wound up married to her. <laughs> yeah. And, and, yeah. So, anyway. So yeah. So so guys, there's there's hope for you out there. You could find. You know. <laughs> anyway, um, I I've talked enough. I want to let other people talk. So. Woo! I think it's. Time for Jay. Jay is the newest member of our team. I'm um, Jay. <laughs> it's like Alcoholics Anonymous. Hi, Jay. <laughs> Welcome. There, um, is, there is a Bill W. meeting here for anyone who. Oh yeah, there is. So, please Perfect. welcome Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, I did want to uh, address Nikita really quick because she said that everybody's uh, female on, the, on, on everything here working it. She still needs us to open her jars, so <laughs> we are not obsolete, men. We still can open jars. Um, what? So um, yeah, this is my third DEF CON. Uh, last year was the first year I got to actually uh, work and, and help out and do anything here. It was kind of fun. Uh, I met this fool many, many years ago. Crypt, crypt bitch, crypt year. I think it is still. Um, so, still crypt year. Crypt year this year again. Okay, crypt year it is. It's gonna come up on the thing. Thanks, Roman. So um, I met him many years ago, and he introduced me to this. And uh, he said, "Hey, there's this thing called DefCon. You should come to it. It's a bunch of hackers." I'm like, "I don't know what a computer is. I can check my email, and that's about it." And I'm serious, I really, I can check my email on Google now, so I'm doing well. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you, I appreciate it. And um, he told me to come to this, and I had no clue what it was, I didn't know, uh, you know, what I, would ex what I would learn or who I'd meet, but a uh, large group of people that are smarter than me, which is anywhere I go, including Walmart, 
is a pretty exciting place for me. It's true. Cashiers are genius. Um, so uh, he got me here finally after probably about five years of trying, and um, I showed up. He said, hey, help me. Same thing as uh, with Romer. You know, he said, hey, help me do this, and now I'm, I'm working again. Um, I took uh, time off of work to come and work. I'm not sure why. <laughs> so I'm here. Uh, and I, I've tried to solve uh, the badge challenge. Um, I did not get past the very first part. This is a badge. I solved the first part. <laughs> so um, other than that, I, I can't do anything with it. So I need something a little more simple for me. And uh, so I, I asked uh, Lost over here. I said, hey, is there anything you can do for um, the simple-minded folk, such as myself? He said, probably. And, uh, <laughs> and he did. So he came up with something uh, quite exciting. And this is, um, this is a little easier challenge. Supposedly, I'm able to solve it. So I have some coins um, that uh, if anybody's interested in trying to solve this and give me the answer so I can tell them I did it, um, uh, come and find me. Uh, I have a couple I can probably get out to you. And then there's some really rare ones, which uh, we haven't told anybody yet. We're trying to get these to the goons. Um, so, oh, you want one? Oh, we'll see what we can do. So uh, we're trying to get these to the goons, and they have their own separate little uh, thing on the back. Um, I would love to uh, have somebody figure this out for me so I can look like I'm actually part of the group. So, but that's it. Nothing else for me. Any questions? Thank you. Any Thank questions? You. Answers? Questions? Answers? Thanks. Thanks. You're next, Casey. Uh, you had to turn. Since you were talking about women again, I have to come and get the last word. <laughs> <laughs> so at the party, there's, um, there's a group, and I'm just kind of getting the information now that is trying to organize stuff to kind of get together and talk about diversity. And so they're going to be here, passing out some information to try to get people together. I don't know much about it. I'm just telling you now, if you're interested in that, it's available. But what I really also wanted to say is we talked about deodorant. A lot, haven't we? But ladies, that means you too. <laughs> okay. All right, thanks. We've got two more speakers that we've got, unless you guys are going to be real upset about not speaking. Um, and then we're going to get to the fun part, name that noob. Woo but to bring it down a little bit, I'd like Casey to come up and talk. <laughs> Everybody having a good time? It's great to be here. Well, um, I think I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my first DEF CON. When I came, I only knew one person sitting right there. That's my little brother, Ryan, and I'm very proud of him. Uh, he does a lot of work for you guys and uh, really uh, does it out of uh, love for the community and, uh, and giving back. And uh, it's uh, been a really interesting thing to see how my brother has grown and uh, really come into his own in this community. And I'm very proud of him. So after he uh, introduced himself into DEF CON, after he'd been coming a few years, he decided to uh, bring in the next wave. And he invited me uh, to come along with him. And I didn't know anybody. And uh, I thought, hey, it's going to be a really cool weekend hanging out with my brother. And I came with him. He said, here, go carry these boxes. And then he disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, I basically had to be left to my own devices, you know, support him where I could and everything, but he's a very busy guy at this thing, and uh, went out and made my own set of friends, and I really felt that uh, first year that I had one DEF CON, when on the last day of DEF CON, a highways comes up to me and he gives me a, a, a bump key that he'd gotten for me, and he says, hey, I got you something, and uh, this is like right before closing ceremonies, and, 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 and no, it was a run, exactly, <laughs> and, and Ryan walks up to me, and he looks amazed, and he goes, he's talking to you? And I said, yeah, he's talking to me. We hung out all through DEF CON. I went to all the parties with him, with Tom, and I had a good time. And he goes, but he doesn't talk to new people. <laughs> <laughs> so I felt like I had kind of owned DEF CON. That year, uh, I went to talks. Uh, I got a mohawk for charity. Uh, and got to know uh, what have become my best friends in the world. And uh, I haven't missed a DEF CON since DEF CON 17. And I know it's redundant and you've heard it a lot, but I'm here to tell you that DEF CON is going to be what you make of it. Uh, stretch beyond what's comfortable. Oh, yeah. 
And put yourself out there. You will get to know some of the most interesting things and some of the most interesting people. And honestly, what are likely to become some of the best friends you'll ever make. This tends to be a very close-knit and a very loyal community. And I would invite you to do so. All of us are approachable. All of you are approachable. Everybody, let's get to know each other. And uh, glad you're here. Thank you. So inappropriate. <laughs> Speaking of. <laughs> All right. So. Yes. Crypt is uh, here a few years longer than uh, Jay and actually has made a huge impact on our team. So I'm going to ask him to come up. First of all. <laughs> First of all, Ryan, everyone complained last year about how big you made the badges. I think this year's ridiculous. <laughs> no, um, I'm... They can't see because they can't see you over the Oh, field. oh yeah. I'll get on my tippy toes. Doesn't help. <laughs> hey, I see his hair. <laughs> Focus. I'm trying to. Okay, so I am super, super tired, so I'm going to apologize for everything. Oh, I'm loud. I don't need to... I'm sure that, can, can everyone hear me over there? What? Yeah. See, I got the what, which is what I expected. Um, I honestly um, just want to thank everybody on this stage, um, because if these great people weren't here, I wouldn't want to come every year. Um, for me, um, DEF CON actually, except for this year, has never really been, I've never been able to actually do all the fun stuff. I've never been able to do Ryan's challenge. I've never been able to actually and participate in a contest or do anything at all, but I've got to hang around with some of the most amazing people I have ever met in my entire life, and all of them actually are here, and then some of them are still working. Um, but uh, I just want to thank everyone, and you guys know how much work you guys did this weekend or in this week, and um, I appreciate all the effort because I asked a lot of people, like the hour, I mean, Anch over here, he and I both have not gone to sleep. I don't even remember when. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the badges, because <laughs> otherwise they would have came in this form. But uh, I hope you enjoy them too. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so again, thank you everybody um, on stage, and then thank you all of you. I hope to add you to the collection of friends that I can't wait to talk to next year. Um, so you're gonna give out your cell phone number to everybody? Yes, uh, my cell phone number is Highwiz. <laughs> um, yeah. No, thank you. Again, I'm super tired, so thank you. Regretting my choices. <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's not just at DEF CON that I regret my choices. So the fun part about this is name that noob. One of the things that everybody does, you've heard me introduce people, Crypt, Lost, Jay. <laughs> um, you know, it's a handle. This is a nickname. This is something that you have. Uh, it makes it easier for you to introduce yourself, put yourself out there, and yet remain a little bit anonymous. Um, and, and it's easier to remember people because it's unique. Hopefully it's unique. We're going to try and give you something that's unique. Did we give you one last year? Are you Chaser? You got one. Okay. You, you just have those faces. Anyway, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to ask people to volunteer. No more than 25, please. Um, can, you guys, can you guys help? Yeah. No, no, but then at the same time, they can stick around at the party. If they come to the party, yeah. they walk up to us, you know? Yeah, and we could do this afterwards, too. But we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to ask you to introduce yourselves. Cute guys. Cute guys. Uh, yeah, you're done. <laughs> And, no, please, yeah, pick people, please. Will. Can I go first? Yeah, yeah, please. Let's get them lined up. The faster we get this. Yeah, go like this. Go over to the mic. Go over to the mic. Go into the light, children. Go over to the mic, please. Yes, go. Oh, what? No, that mic. That mic. Yes, 
Please. Take your son. Christian. All right. Wow, that's way more than 25. <laughs> this is your own fault. Tin foil hat guy. All right, yes, we, we may find ourselves in a lightning round, but we're, what we're going to start with the first few. We're going to ask you to introduce yourself. I want to know where you're from. I want to know what you do. I want to know some embarrassing things about you. Because you're putting yourself out there. And I'm going to tell you a little. <laughs> Romer and I have a friend, Danny. His handle is Wad. And Danny got his handle because the first time that he was in charge of putting in a password for a, process, a, a demo that we were doing, he typed it wrong. P-A-S-S-W-O-D. Uh, well, so we were calling him Passwad. <laughs> <laughs> Shortly after that, we went into a club where you make it rain, and there were lots of black lights, and Danny was wearing this shirt that when he walked into the club, it looked like a CSI crime scene. <laughs> we asked him why he decided to wear his wad shirt, and that's, so his name stuck. Now, I'm not asking you, get it, get it? I'm not asking you, or any of you, to give us that level of information. <laughs> but please, give us something to work with because when you're earning a nickname, you want it to be fun. You want it to be something that, that you're gonna go ahead and say, when I go home and I log into IRC slash Nick, chaser, okay? All right, we're gonna start ladies first. Uh, hi, I'm Genevieve. I'm an educator from San Jose, approximately. And I have a 20-year-old Hotmail email address that I still use. I still pass it out and give it to people sometimes. <laughs> if you want something. I get made fun of it for a lot. If you want something different. All right, there's one. <laughs> um, you want more yeah. embarrassing things. Um, you on the spot. Can you give me a prompt? Give you a prompt. Do you have a pet? I do. Uh, it's a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It was not a survey. <laughs> I have a mouse named Dis. She had a sister named Dat. Pardon me? I, have, I had a mouse named, my mouse is named Dis. Her sister is named Dat. Dis and Dat. Dis and Dat. <laughs> Very nice. Um, <laughs> no. And I'm not telling you my hotmail address. Hotmail.com, right? Yeah, Dis and Dat, hotmail.com. That's, that's what I live my life as. Okay. Um, I think actually we have enough to work right. with here. <laughs> All right, ready? We're playing a game. Name that noob. So when we go to name them, I'm gonna need you guys to participate. Ready? Name that noob. Double D. <laughs> Please come up to the stage. Wow. All right, sir. My name is Dewey Oxberger. My friends call me Ox. Okay, I'm Will. I'm from the great country of Texas. However, that's spelled A U X. get to say name that noob. You, sir. So my name's Jim. I'm from Gulf Breeze, Florida. I work for a spam and virus filtering company there. I'm a senior system administrator. Been in IT for 20 years. Fourth DEF CON. Don't have a name. You can do some stuff that. Yeah. yeah. Come on. A little bit better. So, so what, do you wanna, what do you want to know? My Let's uh, talk about embarrassing thing. I drove to school and took the bus home one day. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. 
Name that new short bus. You, sir. All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Ben. I'm from Denver, Colorado. Um, by day, I pretend to be an uh, information security engineer, and by night, I pretend to be a hacker. Um, Come I, on, it's not a dating game. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I suppose I'm a longtime DEF CON, I guess what you'd call a lurker. I know a lot about DEF CON from what I see and read and watch online, but this is my first time actually getting out here, and I'm happy to be here. Um, I can actually say now that I've been, so. Awesome. Yep. That's the worst thing about him. Yeah, tell me what's, what's something bad about you. Yeah. Besides something. voyeurism. <laughs> <laughs> something bad about me. Uh, I don't know. Give me a further prompt. I can't think of. A further something. prompt. Okay. <laughs> what would uh, your friends have a really good time laughing about if they were if they were here and telling a story about you? Hmm. You're an exciting dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's my problem is, uh, yeah, maybe I'm not exciting enough. Right. Maybe that's Bring what I'm saying. Bring it in. Bring it in. All right. Oh. Yeah, I think it's good. Uh-oh. Name that new thriller. Come on. <laughs> All embrace. Should have called you directly. Yeah. Thanks. All right, you, sir. Hi, I'm a software engineer from Montreal. My name is Charles. Yeah, um, Montreal! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> the guy that was here before me has been in IT longer than I've been alive. So. <laughs> um, this guy's 16 years old and self-taught since 12. I didn't say it. <laughs> um, I don't know much. <laughs> what else do you want to know? Quebecois? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, do you like gladiator movies? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not token. <laughs> Why was that right. question? Um, <laughs> give us something that you do besides uh, playing with computers. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Gymnastics. Gymnastics. <laughs> you want a demo? Ah, sorry, I gave it away. All right, name that new A. Come on up here. That's E H for those of you who haven't been to Canada. Hey. All right, over here. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Sam. I'm from uh, Mountain View, California. Um, let's see something random about me. Uh, I can trace my entire interest in technology back to one book. It's uh, Mark Ludwig's Little Black Book of Computer Viruses. I screwed up my family's computer infinitely and got in way too much trouble about it. Have we asked people about their computer experience at all with this? Maybe yes. Tell us a little bit more about, your, about, about embarrassing things about yourself. Right. Uh, embarrassing. Okay. So uh, I learned a lot from that book. I failed my intro to C programming class uh, later in life in college twice, but I got it on the third time. Are we bring, is that yes. good enough to bring it in? Okay. Free run. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay. All right. Yeah. Name that new rerun. All right. Thank you. Stage. All right. You. Hey, everyone. Toasty. Yeah, first, th first thing you need to know, you'll need to lower that mic. <laughs> okay, wh whatever. My name's Sam. I heard there's some people from Montreal in the, in the, in the audience. Uh, what's up, Montreal? 
I'm, uh, I'm Sam. I'm, a, uh, I'm finishing uh, my last year in uh, computer science at Concordia University, Montreal. I'm currently working with a uh, nonprofit to, to accompany entrepreneurs uh, into starting a business for, for, um, for the city of Montreal. That's where I work. And uh, an embarrassing thing about me, I, I, um, I'd have to think. Say? Oot na boot! That what? <laughs> no, an interesting uh, thing about me, I used to play high school football and I was very eager to get on the special teams. You Americans are big fans of uh, football. I, um, I was the one on the, on the kickoff return and I was on the bench asking everyone who the fuck is not on the kickoff return right now. And I was, I was the lunatic one, yeah. <laughs> but basically, I don't know if that's embarrassing or not. No. <laughs> okay, we got, we got this one. This one is actually pretty easy. Yeah. Name that, that new eager beaver. <laughs> you, sir. So my name's Nick. I'm from Idaho. Um, DEF CON and DEF CON related stuff That's really right. doesn't have That's anything right. to did, do. Did we talk to you last night in line? Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> So you, you have just stop right you, there. you have a doppelganger walking around con. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah uh, DEF CON stuff really doesn't have anything to do with my job. I'm a mechanical engineer by trade. Okay. Uh, Nikita has a question. Okay. Don't worry. I'm just as nervous as you are. All right. Um, what's the most recent uh, photo on your phone? It's going to be of the back of a badge. Other than that, it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I said badge oh, with a B. Oh, God. Calling Duffel Gang. Okay. Yeah. All right, the most recent embarrassing photo then. Most, <laughs> does it have to be of me? Because I have a video of two coworkers uh, dancing on a strip pole. <laughs> Name, Name that, that new man. spuds. <laughs> Next. Hi guys. First and foremost, thank you for wel welcoming us noobs. Uh, my name is David. Uh, I'm a help desk technician. I'm pursuing my bachelor's in information security. And I love doing it, but I have no rhythm. I cannot dance for the life of me. As much as I love dancing, I suck at it. So that's probably the most embarrassing thing. Oh. Hmm. Do you want me to dance? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. No, no, no. He's going to be desk because he doesn't seem very hard. Stop, stop, stop. Name that new. Initially, it was going to be Walmart greeter, but that's way too long. So we're going to call you guest. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Star Wars. Hello, I'm Karch. That's with a K for whoever's typing that, I think. Um, and uh, I am 6'8", so this is a little short. But embarrassing facts. Oh, I've been an app security professional for the last four years as a red team doing penetration testing. Embarrassing facts. I knew nothing about hardware hacking, so I think I'm going to give up on this until I get back some other place. And... Uh, when I was six, I jumped off the top of a slide to prove to a girl that guys are braver than women. So just so you know, the contest is less than 5% hardware hacking. Well, I know somebody has plugged this into a computer so that they can get into the chip. I don't even know how to do that, so... But you can read, right? Yes. Yeah. I've been thinking it's a versioneer, but I'm not sure yet. All right. Ouch. Name that <laughs> new reading rainbow. Oh. <laughs> you, sir. Uh, my name is Rich. I'm from New York. Um, I do digital forensics and uh, incident response. Um, three things that's kind of embarrassing about me. So in the second grade, I got my head stuck in a chair because I thought I could fit through like the other side. I can't whistle. <laughs> And my last name is Cyrus, and a lot of people relate me to Miley Cyrus somehow, clearly, you know, so. <laughs> three. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> it's the haircut. Yeah. It's the haircut. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Name that new wrecking ball. Yeah. Come on. All right, you, sir. Hi, my name's Ryan Coriel. I am from Denver, Colorado. I am a security analyst and uh, embarrassing things. My entire group of friends in college came up with a new slang word for vomiting because of a bad night with uh, some mixed blended Irish whiskey by the name of Clan McGregor. And the nickname for vomiting is Moose because apparently it sounds like a moose call. All right. <laughs> Name that new wretch. Go. Oh. Please, sir. All righty, I'm Vaughn. I'm just here so I don't get fined. That's all. <laughs> but aside from that, I'm from uh, Maryland. I'm a technical trainer for a bunch of brats on Capitol Hill. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I like my job. And uh, three embarrassing facts, I guess. I've been told I have a face only for radio. Um, favorite movie was Gremlins. My younger sister taught me to tie my shoes when I was five and she was three. <laughs> I didn't start drinking until I was 31, so that's about it. All right. Name that new gun show. Hi, my name is Liz da Silva. I'm from Brazil. I live in Toronto. Um, I work uh, as an instant responder. Uh, fun fact is, um, before coming to DEF CON, before becoming a mom, I can remember where I, I put my stuff. Um, it's everywhere, everything I lose. Uh, so be before coming to DEF CON, I forgot, I, I forgot where I put my glasses. So it's a challenge for me to, to come to the talks and see the screen. So I'm always trying to look for uh, places in the, back, in the front. And I know a lot of people here, um, but I can identify people from this. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> All right. All say aye. Aye. Yes. So name that new peeper. All right. Next. Hello, I'm Helen, uh, and if you can't tell, I'm from England. Uh, yay! Um, I've been sent here by my university. I'm a PhD researcher looking at online communities, and I'm going to watch you all. Um, <laughs> my uh, embarrassing facts, the first thing is I had a 10-year illness, and it needs me to go and get um, jabs every now and then. Every time I tell the nurse what was wrong, she laughs for a good five minutes. Um, I had a wandering spleen. Um, <laughs> Thank you, yep. Um, and the other thing is, I fall asleep a lot. So in my office, I have the desk at the back, right in the corner, uh, and every so now and then, people will come looking for me. They'll find me curled up under the desk, and I'm not sorry. Oh, so many things. <laughs> okay. Name that new pins. Pins. Really? Come on. No. You said jabs? Jabs. 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 Yeah. jabs. Jabs. Pin, cushion, what? All right, we're going to work a little bit more on that one because you offered us a lot of material. Just uh, send him something from your hot mail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Hi, my name is uh, Dave. I currently come from the greatest city on the planet, which is Seattle, Washington. <laughs> Yeah, baby. I'm a security engineer with Nest. Um, I have no social skills, so nothing embarrasses me, but 
I can pretty much guarantee that there's nobody in this room that's from where I grew up, which is the great province of Newfoundland. I win. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're going to need a little bit more information. Just because you're not embarrassed doesn't mean we won't be embarrassed for you. Try it. <laughs> try it. <laughs> What's that? Try it. Try it. You're not super interesting, but is there anything interesting about you? Right. <laughs> um, if I had an accent, you wouldn't understand me. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's like the only place nobody has ever been to. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, we're going to do it. Name that new screech. Yeah! All right, we're going to do five more. Two from that line, three from that line. Afterwards, you guys can come up and we'll, we'll work with you, but... You know, there we got to set up for the party, so we're gonna kind of wrap it up. Okay, let's go, mullet. Hi guys, my name is Gary. I'm from Sydney, Australia, now in Virginia. I am an operations engineer for an internet security company, and uh, the first product launch after I started working there was version 6.14, and I made fun of the entire staff on an all hands call because no one realized that 6.14 was pi. <laughs> really? Can we real do this? I know. <laughs> Name that new real genius. Come on up. Rainbow Connection. Go ahead. Uh, hi, I'm Jason. I design power electronics. I wanted to shout out to Wrecking Ball because... I, too, got my uh, head stuck in a chair um, <laughs> in second grade as well, so it's kind of weird. Um, also, when I'm uh, really drunk, I like to do Arnold Schwarzenegger accents, voices, yep. but you're going to have to buy me a drink first, so can't. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Apparently we had it right the first time. So we're going to name Matt that new Rainbow Connection. <laughs> All right, over here. Hello, my name is Ariana Southwick. Uh, although I'm currently getting it changed to Dahlia, my mother is known to most as Banshee. Um, I like to go where the wind takes me. When I'm really drunk, I try to speak four different languages that I know decently and usually get all of them mixed up together. Uh, and I was working staff at B-Sides. Oh, hold on, hold this on. What are the languages? Japanese, Korean, uh, Spanish, and Ukrainian. Do hangul mal chaleo? Hangul mal do chale dago yo? Anyo. Not that Korean. <laughs> South Korean. Okay, please. Please continue. Okay. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Uh, I was working staff at B-Size this week, and I decided to install a phone software update and bricked it. Oh. <laughs> because Real nobody genius. warned me. You take your name back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do we have anything? Bring it in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Name that uh, new yeah. Rosetta phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Hey, yeah, um, you can come up on stage. Let people see. You my, name, my name's Matt. I'm an electrical engineer, and I cross over to the dark side. Now I'm project manager for an internet company that streams cat videos. Um, <laughs> now. Uh, the cringiest thing I've ever done was put my World of Warcraft guild on a resume and actually got the job. Um, and I still cringe to it to this moment. I'm 
not really sure what that was. <laughs> yeah. All right. Name that new bold move. <laughs> just come on up, princess. Princess, just come on up. <laughs> All right. I don't know. They're cute. Yeah. Hi, yes, please. Um, my name is Jordan. I'm from Israel. Um, I'm a computer programmer, and I think the most embarrassing thing I have is I'm such a klutz. I've been here for like three weeks a month, and I'm all bruised. I've been to the ER once, and, and I have scrapes and bruises all over me. Ooh. Why? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Audience participation, that is actually really good. Yeah. Name that, that new patient zero. <laughs> last one, right? Last two guys. Oh, last two. Okay. You two guys are the last ones. Um, wow. You're what? You what? I said our proxy for princess. Oh. <laughs> So my name is Keith. I'm a student from Boston, Mass. Anyone? Anyone? No one? Um, and last night something embarrassing happened to me. I tagged along for a vendor party over at the MGM Grand. Anyone there? Uh, might have had too much to drink. I think that's enough about that story. Something else is I work at Walmart. No, no, come on. Give it to us. Well, I don't know. I didn't really embarrass myself, but it could have ended badly, you know? I don't know. So the story wasn't about you? You were just... No, I, it was about me. I was there. You were just a tag along. <laughs> yeah. I was the one that got wasted. Yeah, just a tag along. Ready? <laughs> Name that new tag along. Yes. Come on up. Okay, so uh, I'm Isaac, I'm from Portland, and I'm actually a high school student, but uh, a hacker in training. And um, yeah, I'm actually a uh, only chick student who's up on the uh, stage right now. And um, so my embarrassing story would be like the first time that I ever used a computer. Um, it ended up being fried and uh, had tons of Rick Rolls all over it, so yeah. Very inappropriate. You cannot say that. We can go. That would get us a <laughs> Anybody? He's pretty. I mean, that's. I mean, I kind of agree with that. Oh, way. pretty? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Oh, teacher's pet. Yeah. Teacher's <laughs> pet. Yeah. But we, we're, we're going to pick on you, and you are. Name that new teacher's pet. Come on up. All right. I appreciate it. One more. And it's only for one reason. Everybody, stand up. Kanye. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to get this. <laughs> I'm going to give you the mic in a minute. Everyone, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. We've been standing. We've been sitting here for how long now? St stand up. On your feet. I know I'm louder than the mic. All right. Now, everybody. Oh, uh, boom! That's all you got to do. Just follow after me. That's it. Get your, get your air. Get all excited. Dude. dude. <laughs> Kanye. Nah, okay. Just Kanye. Come on up. Kanye! Woo! <laughs> Take taking my microphone. I'm all right. Gonna, I'm going to let you finish. Yeah. I'm going to let you finish. All right. So, like I said... <laughs> We'll do, we'll do some more afterwards. I really appreciate everybody, you know, participating. It truly is the most fun part about this talk. Um, and it's one of the things that we really enjoy because this is a way to get, get to know each other. It's a way that you guys can start to reach out 
you know, again, I'm telling you, put yourselves out there. It's really important for you to be able to do what these people just did. That's very brave, and I'm very proud of every single person that did that, because that's some scary stuff, with the exception of you. Um, you know, so. And the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do some thank yous. Uh, first, Dark Tangent, Jeff Moss, he is the, the guy who started DEF CON, and he is the reason that the you know, everybody is here, uh, truly. And Romer, because he's the guy that got me into DEF CON. And I'm really happy that, you know, I was able to do that. This is, it was something that, you know, well, I'll get all weepy. Um, Highways, again, you know, he started 101 and his friendship has meant a lot to me. Uh, a whole list of people, Crypt, Nikita, Lost, Jay, uh, Anch, um, only chick. I apologize, I didn't even know you were going to be here. Um, Runner-up, uh, who is High was his better half. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm totally sorry. Totally single, dude. <laughs> totally single, man. <laughs> Russ, um, Russer and Panadero, Pushpin, who is uh, one of the guys who's a vendor goon and is actually a lot of fun. Uh, Clutch, Alex Rogan and Jen are not here, and Medic. Um, Alex Rogan, Jen, and Medic were the first ones that I truly uh, hung out with, and Jen was absolutely hysterical. If you get her drunk, she'll make snow angels in the grass. <laughs> you know, everybody else that's ever been a vendor goon, it's really important, um, you know, to recognize. The, the goons all do everything, uh, and they do it for the con, you know, um, and it's, so they don't often get recognized, but the, the goons are, are an important part of this. And anybody that I've forgotten to thank, if you're out there, you know, like if you've got a really long beard and you start with Evil Rob, you might not be on the list. <laughs> Still. So I appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any questions, if you just want to chat, come on up. And then, like I said, stick around. They're going to be wheeling in the bars if they're not already out in the lobby. And anyone watching on TV, same thing. Come yeah, up. anybody that's watching on TV. First of all, shame on you for not being here. But second of all, come on down and participate. You know, get, be part of it. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.